All right, this is a no frills e-brake indicator light stuck on video. 2004 Chevy Silverado, extended cab 5.3, four wheel drive, and the e-brake light is stuck on. I know you don't care about my cat or anything else or even my ugly mug. So here it is. Turn it on. Got your uh, e-brake light is on and it stays on. Let's just start it for you. It stays on no matter what you do. Let's go ahead and stick this down. It's on, let's go ahead and release it. It's on. Sometimes you can just pull this all the way up, <clears throat> but that's not my case, all right? So in my case, this is the switch. It has a little tiny bolt here. Here's the switch. This part on mine is broken. I can take my fingernail right here, put my fingernail on there and pull that, open it up. You can see this right here. Open it up on mine, light goes off, lights on, light goes off, lights on. Okay, so that's it. There's a little wire here. If you don't want to screw with it or you don't have the part with you, and you're sick of seeing the light or hearing a ding, ding, ding. My dinger doesn't work, so that sounds weird. Um, my chime doesn't work, so uh, I don't hear it while I'm driving on the highway, but this the light still blinks. So for my truck, based on its VIN number, here is the part number. It was like six bucks at the dealership. It's AC Delco. Don't mess with other aftermarket stuff. I mean, it's six bucks at a dealership. When, when do you find something for six bucks at a dealer? Anyway, let's get into this. <clears throat> Got my light here. This big old huge thing's in the way. Unscrew this. Move these, these little tabs here. Oh wait, no, this one doesn't have any tabs. You just pull this off. All right, set that off to the side. Okay, these little tabs, two sides, sorry, terrible cameraman, two sides over this way. That little thing pivots, lifts out, okay? If you look underneath here, you will see, sorry, that is a little portion of this. See, got a little blue wire on it, if I can get some extra light. But yeah, a little blue wire there. You see a little piece, you can see where mine's broken, see that? I can't get my finger in there and film that, but you just take that little piece, push it down, there it is. All right, so, I'm not gonna bother disconnecting mine. I have a nine and three thirty seconds, which means this is probably just like a seven millimeter or something. I don't know, but this works. Put your screwdriver behind this electronic or relay bracket. Look at that, it's already coming off. Whether I can actually get this out of here without losing the freaking nut or a little bolt. I have no idea. Oh, look at that. Amazing. All right. All right. Got this here. Got the screw. And disconnected. All right, do you see what was wrong? This little thing is broken, so it, the e-brake couldn't put it down. This is not broken. I'm trying to do this in one shot so I don't screw on with editing a bunch of crap. So, let me put you down for a second. I am connecting the wire while it's available to me. Snapped it in. Put in the screw, and 
now is the hard part. All right, I'm gonna bend this down. No, I think I can get it to it. I'm sorry for the terrible camera angles. All right, oh. All right, that feels like it is in its location. I will, ah, son of a. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. This may not be a one-handed operation. All right, a few minutes later, I unplugged two of these plugs from there and there. Unplug stuff at your own risk. And I'm moving this bracket out of the way so I can have more access. 10 millimeter bolt. There's one little nut back there. right here by my finger see those two the detent and the screw so I'll try that all right so I finally got it in there so the hard part of getting that little piece into its spot do you see that it's hard to see the little piece that sticks up that little piece that sticks up is a spring and it goes look at it it goes up and over that is where your indicator is and it pushes these two tabs apart there's a lot of spring pressure on here that spring pressure prevents you from once once you get the screw in and threaded it prevents you from pushing this little tab into the correct place so what I did is I took a zip tie, took off all of that spring pressure, as you can see here, screwed it in, installed it. I get this to zoom here, focus. And then after I get it all screwed in, I just uh, man, I think of course this is worse. Let's see here. Then hold that out. So look. E brake applied. No e brake applied. E brake applied. That's a victory. So it's a pain in the butt. And then of course you gotta, you know, put your little bracket back. this back, put your wiring stuff back, you're good to go.